What up, everybody? This is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat Adventures, and welcome to episode 10. I decided to let the first five minutes just go by with music and video and some photos. Now we're into the narration. Do yourself a favor. Get a piece of paneling and this piece of metal that you're going to use. Use the paneling to do all this preliminary measurements and drill and work, all that work. And then when you get it all done and it's all buttoned up, and take all that stuff and transfer it over to the metal plate. Your 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 uh, work will be that much more sano. So the the main thing you're trying to accomplish here is attach that ride plate, attach it level to the ride plate. It's kind of difficult, so you're going to have to shim it up. The ride plate has a little bit of an edge to it. The edge is higher than the center. The second thing is, and this is the most important thing, is you've got to line up your transducer perfectly straight with the keel bow to front or I'm sorry bow to stern it has to be in a straight line can't be angled then you're gonna create a lot of side pressure side cavitation on you want it to have be pointing straight ahead so it's cavitation that it creates while it's dragged through the water is minimal you also want to do a professional job get yourself I'm gonna show you here in a second get yourself a countersink bit and do everything with the countersink and get the proper hardware so it sits flush here we're showing the gap now you can see the hole that I had to hog out for the transducer's data cable. That actually has to be done before you install the, uh, cut the mounting pins, or I should say the mounting screws for the transducer. You'll notice the black line there. The black line is my reference point for being straight and true. You'll notice that it's a little bit off compared to the straight lines of the, the bracket, and that's because I cut the bracket in a rush and it's crooked, but it is eventually lined up straight and true. There's the five holes that I put in. The transducer is now attached. Now this is the attachment. You go back outside, you put the, everything back together. Run that cable up, as you'll see here in a moment. Run that cable up through that white fitting there. That is a just a, a drain. You open up the back cover, you're gonna see this. You're not gonna see that, that copper tube. That's my T-fitting. You have to cut that hose, install a T-fitting, put the little bit of hose back on, then silicone that T fitting right there. You don't silicone the whole T because that's this is a drain. Then you'll put the fitting that goes the barbed fitting that goes in that short black tube, and you'll put it all. You'll put the deck plate back together. You're going to run your cable up through the hull, through your storage area, up back up to the head unit in the dashboard. Hook it all up. You are good to go. Using this install, you will get sonar readings at all speeds.